going to show you how to make three kinds of chiffon cakes today. A lot of my followers have been requesting this. I will start with a basic recipe and then I will show you how to make it into different flavors. And then I'll show you how to make marble chiffon cake and lastly the chocolate chiffon cake. Let's get started. Here are the ingredients for the orange chiffon cake. Two and one fourth cups cake flour or two cups of all-purpose flour. One cup sugar, one tablespoon baking powder, one teaspoon salt. Three fourths cup of orange juice. 1 half cup of oil, 1 teaspoon of orange flavoring, 8 extra large eggs, 1 half cup sugar, 1 teaspoon cream of tartar. Here are the ingredients for the marble chiffon. 2 and 1 fourth cups cake flour or 2 cups of all-purpose flour. 1 cup sugar, 1 tablespoon baking powder, 1 teaspoon salt, 1 half cup oil, 3 fourths cup water, 2 teaspoons of vanilla, 8 extra large eggs, 1 half cup sugar, 1 teaspoon cream of tartar. For the marble mixture, you need 1 fourth cup of sugar, 1 fourth cup of cocoa powder, 2 tablespoons of water, 2 tablespoons of rum, and 1 fourth teaspoon of chocolate brown food color. Here are the ingredients for the chocolate chiffon. 2 cups all-purpose flour, 1 cup sugar, 1 half cup cocoa powder, 1 teaspoon salt, 1 teaspoon baking soda, 1 teaspoon chocolate brown food color 1 half cup oil 1 cup water 2 teaspoons vanilla 8 extra large eggs 3 fourths cup sugar 1 teaspoon cream of tartar We start by mixing together your flour For the flour you can use 2 and 1 fourth cups cake flour or 2 cups all-purpose flour Make sure you sift the flour before you measure. And then we have one cup of sugar, one teaspoon salt, one tablespoon baking powder. You can also use just half a teaspoon of salt. Okay. You can sift the whole mixture again, or I just use a wire whisk to mix them together. And then we're going to add in oil. You have here orange juice and orange flavor and color. If you don't, uh, if your uh, coloring is clear, that's all right. By the way, your orange juice, you dilute it to a concentration that it's ready to drink. So if you buy concentrate, you add water to it. All right. If you want to make plain chiffon cake, use water instead of orange juice. Use vanilla instead of orange flavoring. Next, we need to separate the egg yolks from the egg whites. My chiffon cake recipe, I need eight extra large eggs, all right? Make sure that there is no egg yolk in the egg white. This is very important. All right, this is one. This is how you should separate this because we are not sure that all the eggs are fresh there are many ways to separate the egg yolks from the egg whites all right Two. I feel this is the best way you can use an egg separator you can use your hands whatever is easy for you is fine okay here I want to explain I always use extra large eggs because in my recipe for chiffon cake, I need one and one fourth cups of egg whites. Okay? From eight extra large eggs, you can get between one and one fourth to one and one third cups egg whites. Okay, this one I measured it, so you will see. 
okay so here I have uh, flour sugar salt baking powder I have oil egg yolks and uh, orange juice and flavoring so I mix them all together you can mix uh, in any direction you don't have to mix this for a long time once you see that the mixture is smooth see this is ready okay don't over mix it I have here egg whites cream of tartar and then let's whip this when you beat the egg whites you beat it at medium speed don't beat it at high speed because the higher the speed of the mixer the faster the uh, egg whites will rise however they form big bubbles big bubbles burst uh, very quickly so what happens is when you fold it in it deflates so we want small fine bubbles which are more stable then we have one half cup sugar which we will add shortly once it's frothy I'm going to add in the sugar you can add the sugar gradually but if you're using like a KitchenAid mixer you can dump all the sugar at one time but if you're using a hand mixer or a stand mixer which is not as powerful as this one you have it to you have to add the sugar little by little all right we will check there is no exact time okay because uh, different egg whites different mixers they don't beat at the same time okay this one is good see you have peaks which is stiff but you will see it's glossy you, here see the egg whites are glossy okay so this is time to put this uh, to fold this in the old method was to uh, pour the egg yolk mixture over the egg white however the newer version which makes more sense is the egg white over the yolk let's do this in two additions this is how you fold you cut you scrape the bottom you go up like this this is how you fold in When it's half mixed, then we add the next. Don't wait until it's fully blended before you add in the next egg, next egg white. When you watch my video tutorials, please don't forget to check the description box for additional information, for corrections, and other tips that I might have forgotten to tell you during the video. Okay. cut scrape the bottom go up so you cut this is how you fold it okay you continue to do this turning the bowl until the mixture is of the same color what you don't want to do is to stir this because when you stir you def you deflate the air bubbles that you incorporated you will want to maintain uh, the air inside so cut then you go down cut. later I'll show you another way to fold in you'll see there's still very some little streaks of uh, darker color but this will disappear okay for today I'm going to use two nine inch pans you will not fill the pan just about three-fourths okay I'm using this one so it will bake faster so okay by the way don't put oil don't put paper don't put flour in the pan I will show you how to remove them this should be the consistency of the mixture it should not be watery it should be light and fluffy and then what some do is they tap I don't uh, it's not my habit to do that but if you like you can tap it once or twice that's enough okay let's put this inside the oven 
We'll bake this at 330 to 340 degrees for about 40 minutes. We will check after 30 minutes. Let's now make a marble chiffon. The first steps are the same. You have flour, you mix together flour. Make sure you sift the flour before you measure. Flour, sugar, baking powder, oops, and salt. Okay, and then we have oil. I use regular cooking oil. And then we have egg yolks, I already separated the egg yolks because I already showed you how to separate them. And then I have water and vanilla. So this is actually a uh, basic chiffon cake recipe or they call it a vanilla cake, a vanilla chiffon cake. So you mix this together. And then same with the orange chiffon. You have egg whites, you have cream of tartar, and then we're going to whip this with the sugar. Once it starts to froth, you can add the sugar. Let's make our marble mixture by mixing together cocoa powder. You sift the cocoa powder, okay? And then you have sugar. Brown coloring is optional. If you don't have it, it's okay. And then you have water. And then you have rum. This is the rum, the regular rum that you drink, not the rum flavoring. And then you mix this together. This will be your marble mixture. This is what we want, a stiff peak and it's glossy. It's not dry. All right. One half, we fold this in. Like, okay, another way to fold is to make a figure eight. See, like this. Hold your spatula like this and then make a number eight. This is another way to fold. Okay, and then as I said, don't wait for the whole egg, for all of the egg white mixture to be incorporated before you add the second uh, portion. Okay, so we will do the figure eight method of folding. When I'm teaching kids or teenagers, I find it always easy to teach them how to fold using a figure eight then the cut and fold method like this remember when you make the figure eight you have to scrape the bottom and at the same time you have to turn the bowl okay since this is marble by the way if you follow this recipe until this portion this is what you call the basic chiffon cake or a vanilla chiffon cake okay but we're going to make this marble so if you make it marble it's all right to see some streaks of white from the egg white because we don't want to overfold what we're going to do is first we're going to pour in half half of the mixture I uh, just eyeball it it doesn't have to be exact okay so half is in the pan and then to the remaining half or the remaining third you add in the marble mixture the chocolate mi mixture for the marble a very common mistake is they fold in the egg yolks to the egg whites and then the moment they add in the marble mixture they start to stir it so what happens when the cake is cooked or baked you will see the chocolate sinking to the bottom of the Pan. so you make sure you still fold it in like this okay don't stir it because it becomes watery there are also many ways to make marble but I'll show you my very quick and easy method okay 
it's all right to see some streaks okay in this case because as i said we don't want to overfold. we're still going to fold it in the pan what i do next to make the marble mixture is i do this then i do that and i do that i do that this is my marble and then let me repeat I fold it like this that's why I don't want you to overfold because you'll still be folding it here when you do the marbling just do it for a short while a few strokes don't um, fold it continuously otherwise you'll get chocolate okay we won't see the marble okay since we have the orange chiffon in our oven this one will go to our oven outside because i have no more space I'm going to make the uh chocolate chiffon cake okay this is slightly different from the basic chiffon cake because of course uh okay i have flour sugar salt this time we use baking soda one teaspoon of baking soda instead of one tablespoon baking powder okay and then we use chocolate brown coloring just to intensify the color if you don't like to put uh, coloring it's fine and then we have cocoa powder okay mix this make sure you sift the flour and the cocoa powder and then you have oil regular cooking oil egg yolks and then this one has a little bit more water this is one cup water because of the addition of cocoa powder then vanilla and then we mix this okay here and then egg whites remember one and one fourth cups from eight extra large if you get sometimes you get one and one third that's all right too as long as the egg yolk should not be more than eight and then you have cream of tartar and then if you'll notice we have a little bit more sugar because of the cocoa powder the addition of cocoa powder and then we add the sugar once the egg whites are frothy you add in the sugar you another way to fold this remember we have the cut and fold method and then we also try the figure eight okay this one we will fold with the one whisk we will start with just one fourth of the egg white you do this scratch the bottom of the bowl without taking out without taking out the uh, wire whisk And we will do that was one fourth then we will with the remaining we will do half of the remaining stretch the bottom of the bowl without lifting the uh, wire whisk out of the bowl okay don't wait until you don't see all of the egg whites of course you still need to finish this with a rubber scraper but only for a short while be careful you don't overfold the chocolate uh, chiffon because the chocolate chiffon has a lot of oil compared to the others because there's oil also from the cocoa powder aside from the oil that you put in and remember egg whites do not use like oil okay so we finish with a rubber scraper but only to scrape the mixture in the bottom okay this is done let's pour this in since the orange chiffon is not yet ready i'm still uh, it's still in the oven i'll also put this in the oven outside together with the marble chiffon okay all right this goes into the oven let's check our cake this is about 40 minutes 
if you'll notice I was not able to divide it equally but then I can never do that okay so first you do the finger touch okay and if it's dry I use the cake tester next when you use a cake tester don't test it on the sides because the sides will cook faster always check it in the middle but please take note see it's dry so it's cooked please take note that when you use a cake tester do not put the cake tester if when you touch it's a little wobbly or it's a little wet okay because once that you take it once you put the cake tester and it's still wet it's going to sink and it's not going to come back up okay so let me take this out chiffon cake is always inverted on a cake rack invert it to cool I have many recipes to share with you if you're interested please like share subscribe and click the notification bell so you can be alerted when a new video is uploaded here's our marble cake here's our chocolate chiffon we will have to cool this completely before you unmove okay. here I will show you how to remove this remember this has no paper no oil no grease okay you might ask me you know this is a very common question they ask me why uh, their chiffon cake will sink in the middle usually that happens when you put paper at the back okay so don't put paper in the bottom pass a spatula around the sides of the baking pan then push it towards you push it slowly towards you like this okay and then see how easily you can take this out so no paper and no oil I've sliced the cake I will show you the inside so look this is our orange chiffon look. very nice fine crumbs and this is our chocolate chiffon here very nice dark color because of the coloring See? okay and our marble it has such a beautiful marble design and it's so easy to make 